Hello, Shabbat Shalom. I hope you've had a good week. I hope everybody is well. I hope you had a lovely Passover. Um, there was one time in a Russian shtetl. So imagine, uh, you know, a fiddle on the roof. I believe it's uh, uh, an, an anniversary uh, of when it first came out. Is it 40 years? Um, so you have a Russian shtetl and a local Russian thief had gone into the synagogue and stolen a pair of tefillin. And he walks to the market and goes over to one of the stalls there and he's trying to sell this tefillin that he's stolen. And someone goes over to him, a Jewish fellow, clearly, you know, the box and the straps, and says, you know, where do you get this from? So he says, Zam Zapoznik. For any Russians over here, I hope you, I pronounced that right, which means the shoemaker the, himself. Uh, th th that he's trying to say is, I did it myself, I made it myself. And obviously the, the, the fallacy of, there's no way that, uh, you know, a local shoemaker in Russia would have known how to make a pair of tefillin. Um, where this links into is an idea where we see in this week's Torah portion is a story of two sons of Aaron that go to the temple and they bring a sacrifice that they're not supposed to. And however we want to explain it to some deep spiritual level, they get they they die from you know possible spiritual ecstasy of some sort. Um, but where the message and the link of this first story to this story as well of the Torah portion is even these people that were very spiritual and very connected, you still need to have someone on top of you guiding you. And just to think that you are self-made, we always need a mentor. We always need some other people that guide us throughout our lives and throughout the different stages of our lives. Um, and, and at times we get more and more confident with what we do and what we are, but you could learn a lot when you ask someone, who is your mentor? Who is your rabbi? Who, you know, who do you have? And, and whether it's in business world or in family, uh, in relationships, or in your spiritual religious journey, that importance of always having a mentor. Shabbat Shalom.